the next one in the category of classification of share capital is the subscribed capital now as the word itself suggests subscribed you know what is the meaning of subscribed i guess you does subscribed basically means that you have applied for all along our example we were taking that let's say 5 million is the issued share capital of the company if you want you can refer to the previous videos in this regard okay now let's say 500 million was comprising of 500,000 shares of rupees 10 each now let's assume for a moment the company offered to issue 500,000 shares offered okay and therefore 500,000 was the issued share capital now the public came in public means the shareholders and they said that look we want to subscribe only to 400,000 shares that is we will take up only 400,000 shares and not 500,000 so this 400,000 shares which have been actually applied by the public are known as subscribed capital Another situation can be that the public subscribed 600,000 shares or 500,000 shares. If they apply for 500,000 shares, then basically the subscribed capital and the issued capital are equal. So in this case, issued capital is equal to subscribed capital right why because whatever you had issued people subscribed for that now what happened in case people apply for 600,000 shares in that case the company will take up only 500,000 shares why because it had initially issued only 5 million worth of shares rupees 5 million let me put this like this so therefore the issued capital will again be 500,000 shares of course if you want to accommodate the additional shareholders which is 1 lakh you can again go through the entire procedures and issue these to the shareholders but first it has to be issued and then only it can be subscribed now the next one is the called up capital In this example, we saw that the shares were rupees 10 each. Now what can happen is that many a times the company calls for these amount or rupees 10 in installments. What's the reason for this calling in installments? The reason is that you know, let's say for example you had 5 million worth of shares. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 shareholders who are willing to buy these shares. Okay. Now they want to buy shares worth rupees 5 million, but they can't put in 5 million in one go. So they say, okay, we can put 2 plus 2 plus 1. So the company will say, okay, the benefit for the company is that this will be fully subscribed. They'll get their money, though not now, but they will get it in stages. So just to encourage the number of investors who are there and this is more so for the public companies in private companies normally this is not the case. So in public companies what the company normally do is they will call money in stages which are known as calls. The technical word used for these installment is calls. So you do call 1, 2, 3. So you may ask for 4 rupees, 3 rupees and 3 rupees or any other combination of these amounts so what happens is the company makes a call for 4 rupees 
these shareholders will pay 4 rupees per share. Then the company makes the second call, they pay 3 rupees per share, then the third call and they pay third 3 rupees per share. So this is this amount of capital which at any stage the company has called. Let's say at this stage, company has called only 4 rupees. Now 4 into 500,000 shares will give you 2 million. So the called up capital will be 2 million, which is what? Number of shares into amount called. Okay. If suppose the company has called 4 plus 3, then this will be how much number of shares is? Again, that's a constant into amount called. Amount called is 4 plus 3 or 7 which is 3.5 million. If you call the entire 3 amount, then basically your called up capital becomes equal to the subscribed capital. Okay. So this is what subscribed and called up capital means. Now let's also see the concept of paid up capital. Now suppose the company had made a call of rupees 4 and the shareholders paid the entire amount. So the paid up capital will be amount which this company has actually received which is 4 into 2 million. Okay. And there is a term of uncalled capital as well. Uncalled capital is basically nothing but the nominal value of the shares minus amount called. So if the nominal value or the total amount to be called was 10 and you've called only 4 rupees, then this 6 rupees is the uncalled capital. Okay. So these are basically the categories of various kinds of capital 